Hey guys, welcome back. And today I'm gonna show you guys how you can use a VPN with this very simple VPN tutorial. Now, there are too many VPNs in the market today. And so I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've just narrowed it down to these three as the best overall. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate using ExpressVPN because it's my personal favorite and it's what I use daily. But again, you also have Nord and Surfshark as two other alternatives to ExpressVPN. And they're really just some of the best VPNs that you can find out there. And also, by the way, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as full reviews in the description down below if you guys are interested. So just make sure to check those out. Okay. So now what you want to do is understand the two features that are available in these VPNs. Now let's go to the VPN locations. And of course, every VPN is going to have a locations list, but ExpressVPNs is sorted by continents. Now you have a map design right here with NordVPN, and you could also just search up the list. And the same is going to be with Surfshark. You don't have a map design, but you do have a list, so you can just search it up. Well, you also have an options menu, and this is where you need to understand what a kill switch is. And ExpressVPN doesn't have many features. It only has the kill switch and split tunneling. Now, the kill switch is going to cut your internet connection if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, making sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN tunnel in order to prevent any rare IP leaks. So it's really great to have. Now, split tunneling is going to allow you to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. So let's just say I want to have a couple of applications use the VPN while the rest of my connection is left outside the VPN tunnel. So this is a pretty useful feature to have in your VPN. And again, the kill switch, split tunneling, and a handful of protocols are all available in these VPNs. It's just that each VPN may have one or more features or a specific feature that might not be available in the other VPN. And so that's why I recommended you check the reviews in order to know exactly what you're looking for. But other than that, you also have protocols. And now for the most part, you can just leave that on automatic and then you should be good to go. But since lightweight UDP is the best performing protocol with Express, I choose that. And once you know what the kill switch is, what the split tunneling is about, and which protocol is best to choose, then you're good to go with regards to using the VPN. So let's just say you want the US Netflix library. You can go to Americans, go to the United States, and then pick Chicago, for example, and then turn it on. And so that's pretty much it with regards to using the VPN. And after that, you can just go to the IP finder and just double check that you are connected to the correct server. And that's it. Now, how do you use NordVPN? So again, it's also super simple. What you'll do here is you'll go to the settings and of course you have bonus features right here. I mean, I recommend you check the reviews below so you know you understand them better. So basically you want to go to connection and make sure that you are using the Nordlinks protocol, which is the fastest protocol. So you also have the kill switch. So if you want to turn it on, but you also have the app kill switch and you have split tunneling. And so that's all you really need to know about the VPN before you start using it. And then once you're good to go, you can just either look up the servers right here on the list or just zoom in and connect to whatever server you want to connect to. So let's just say you want to go, for example, with the New York server, um, you could just select one of these dots and then you'll be able to connect to the server. Now, as far as Surfshark, you can just go to the settings and you have the kill switch. You have a bypasser, which is the same as split tunneling. It's just called a bypasser here. Now you also have the wire guard, which is going to be the best performing protocol and then go back to the VPN and just select one of these servers that you want to connect to. For example, let's just go with Toronto and it will take a few seconds to connect. It's not as fast as ExpressVPN and that's pretty much the reason why I chose ExpressVPN over most other VPNs. It's just how reliable and consistent it is and it's just super quick with regards to connecting to their servers. Now that's pretty much it for this video, but again, if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them. Now also, just out of curiosity, I actually spoke with Express and they mentioned that a lot of people end up spending more money on the monthly renewals than they would have with the yearly plan. Because typically what happens is, is the people renew monthly thinking they might not need it long term. But unfortunately, what ends up happening is they end up spending more money than they would have gone with a year plan, especially with the discount code we provided below. 
So really, if you know that you're not going to need Express for longer than a month, then you should definitely get the one month plan. But if there's any chance that you might end up using it longer than a month, you might want to go with the year plan. And then if you change your mind or realize you know you don't need it that long, you can always get a refund and go back to just a month at a time plan. And so that's pretty much it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day.